Hi, I'm Niblet K, and welcome to another Hearthstone episode. Today, I have something special. I did four budget decks that are actually pretty cheap and you can climb the ladders really good. So, we actually have two warriors. One is of course pirate warrior, which everyone hates to play against. But it's a really cheap deck. We have pirates, Zosfer and Smate, easy to craft. Legendary is patches. If you don't have patches, it's not the end of the world. I mean, you can just put anything else that does a little bit of damage or a one drop that has good stats like an Argent, uh, Ar uh, yeah, Argent Squire for instance, or an Abusive Sergeant. Something like that. Um, we have the new beasts that destroy pirates and get buffed. So you can spawn an Azov's first mate, patches on turn 1, and then hit for face. Then turn 2 you can actually get a B4. And then you just try to hit face as much and as fast as possible as you can. Thus climbing the ladder really fast. Right, so I won't get into these decks right away. I'll just show them a little bit. Uh, Hunter is kind of straightforward. It's a mid-range hunter. Small little beasts. I have one hunter's mark for a big target in case I need to uh, destroy a taunt or something like that. This gives me other beasts, so it replaces itself sometimes with better stuff. Uh, this thing adapts something, this thing destroys a pirate and in case we are running up against other classes that use pirates, such as rogues or warriors. Um, these two are cheap to craft if you don't have them. I mean, you will get these, these eventually. Very good two drops. Uh, so scavenging hyena is back in the meta. It's really powerful. Uh, if you go like turn one alley cat and they play a minion that you can kill with both of your cats, and you play this on turn two, you're gonna have yourself a six four or something like that. Yeah, a six four I think on turn two. Uh, and the rest is pretty much straightforward. The the usual things that hunters have. Animal Companion, Eagle Horn Bow, Kill Command, Unleash the Hounds, Houndmaster. Thunder Rhino is really good because you have a lot of cheap minions in the late game so you can just play them and vomit them out and go for face. And Savannah High Mains for the so to say top end finishers. Um, I won't get into the second warrior yet but it's the only budget deck that I made that involves around a quest. And the second budget, uh, the second, the third budget deck is basically your, you know, you're all familiar with this, this deck. It's the good old standard zoo with the new improved Un Ungoro cards. So, as usual, we run one Galaka Crawler for, you know, Diversification. Yeah, I made that a word somehow. So it's diverse. Like I said, in some situation you run up against a pirate, so it's kind of good to have. If not, it's it's a common two, three, four, two. So it's okay. The stars of this deck is the so to say Malkazar's imp. So the discard mechanics. Which we all know already. Not too many discard mechanics. I mean, we have Soulfire, Darkshire Librarian, and um, where's that? Doomguard. I don't think I'm running more. 
I don't think you need more anyway. Uh, Direwolf Alpha is there for a little bit more damage. Darshire Councilman is just a good card. If they don't mess with it, it's just gonna go and win you the game eventually because it's gonna get bigger. So the stars, the new stars of this kind of deck are the Devil Soar Egg, which no one wants to pop because you're gonna give them a 5 5. So, and this goes perfectly with the new card that uh, Warlocks got, the Pterodacts, you know, Ravenous, Pterodax, Pterodactyl, whatever. This guy is insane. So, you go turn 3, uh, Devil Soar Egg, and then turn 4, eat it up, you get a 5 5 from the Devil Soar, and you get to um, adapt this guy twice. So eventually you could get like 5-5 five, five and a 4-7 with Stealth or a 4-7 with uh, Divine Shield or a 4-4 four, four with uh, Divine Shield and Wind Fury. Yeah, I actually lost to something like that. Or a 7-7. Seven, seven. So you get on turn 4, you get a 5-5 five, five and a 7-7. Seven, seven. Sometimes that works. Okay, enough of my blabbering around and doing nothing. Okay, let's see these decks in action. I am currently rank 4. So, I'm gonna be testing these things for real. Like, against real good, pretty top tier decks. So let's start with favorite of everyone, Pirate Warrior. Here we go. There are a lot of pirates. I, I actually don't know uh, how mirror matchup works. There are a lot of hunters in the meta now. And... There's also a lot of Taunt Warrior, I mean Quest Warrior, Taunt Warrior, whatever you want to call it. So I'm gonna get rid of these. A one drop uh, that is a pirate is really good in the beginning. Uh, if we get Nazav's first mate or something better, would have been better. We did not. So here we try to be more aggressive than the hunter. I'm curious if we can do this. I'm pretty sure we can, I mean... Okay, so... It's pretty obvious that now I could go for a 50-50 or whatever the odds are. I'm not counting my face. Should be counting my face. So it's kind of a 33% chance that if I hit it with uh, the axe, it won't kill the patches. But I don't really care about that that much. Because 3 damage to face gets us closer to victory. So now if he plays something that's scarier, I, I actually have another charge from the Fiery War Axe. So he ended up wasting his turn killing a 1-1. One -one. Now I can actually play this thing. If he wants to take 5 to the face again, that's fine by me. Always charge before you use your weapon. I sometimes did it the other way around. I was like, yeah, go face, and weapon, and then, oh, I can't charge anymore. Uh. Okay. So now we're, he's at turn 3. He's gonna take 5 more to the face. He has no minions, he has now 1 minion. Okay, 2 minions. Don't do much damage. Um, I'm just gonna go for face again. If he taunts these things up, he's probably gonna wanna trade them away in the Korkron Elite. So next turn we actually have... Okay, so he will end up um, 
clearing my board with the cost of his entire board. Which is perfect for me, because he doesn't have a taunt. I can just kill that. If he doesn't taunt up this turn, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get through. So, it looks as though he's trying to adapt it to fun. He didn't find taunt, so you can see that this piece of shit deck is so fast and so annoying that you can actually win against, so to say, top tier decks. So, this is actually considered a pretty top tier deck. And, like I said, you don't need too many things. It is annoying to play against, I'll, I'll give it that, and sometimes you do run out of steam. But the curves you get with this thing is like, just push in the damage, you just push in the damage and eventually you, you out-tempo your opponent and he can't, he cannot recover. The meta is pretty slow in most cases, I mean you will get shut down sometimes by taunt after taunt after taunt after clearing your board or other shenanigans like that but pretty much it's a good deck to climb the ladder with because the matches are pretty fast and you can just hit the go button and win and get those um, win streaks so this deck can get you to rank 5 pretty fast so I hope you enjoyed my video um, yeah, if you want to climb the ladder and don't have too much uh, dust and too many cards, I would suggest trying this one out. Until next time, when we will be discussing, discussing, no, not disgusting, discussing the second budget deck, the Hunter. Until next time.